Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I'd like to revisit how to use Samsung Smart Switch Mobile, how to transfer your data from your old phone to your new smartphone here. So we have a pretty popular video that we did before on the older version of Smart Switch Mobile, and it's definitely sort of changed and upgraded and is a lot easier to use than before, and I figured we would do a sort of a version two video of how to sort of do this up, uh, sort of how to do this transfer here. Now we're gonna be transferring data from the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 over here to the Samsung Galaxy S6. So that's how we're gonna move our data over. And they've made things a lot more simple and easy to use. You can do this all wirelessly. This is kind of the best way to do it the way I would suggest doing it. You can um, do it that way through Android devices now, not just restricted to Samsung devices. So if you're switching from a different Android device to a Samsung device, you'd be able to use it on here iOS devices, they definitely suggest uploading to iCloud first and then kind of syncing that way, which this can do as well too. You can also get an, uh, a cable, an on-the-go cable, and you can sync between that way as well if you want to, or you can sync via the PC application as well. But we're gonna do this wirelessly here. It's gonna use Wi-Fi Direct. The first thing I suggest doing is definitely be doing this on Wi-Fi, uploading any, backing up any data that you need. Make sure you're on, on Wi-Fi when doing that, either on iOS or with an Android. So on your both devices, you want to basically select what your old device is. So in this case, a roll device here on this side is the Android device. So we're going to hit start. Now over here, we're going to choose either this is the sending or receiving device. Now this is the sending device, the Note 4. We're going to go ahead and hit connect. Now we're going to go ahead, you're going to see this is already going to sort of pop up and already kind of detect that another device is around and it's gonna go and try and connect to it, which it already kind of did there. Now it's connected. Now from here, you get to choose which data you wanna transfer it over. It says estimated total uh, size of data, available space on the other device, 14 gigs or so we have over on this one here. So this is the stuff that it wants to transfer over. You can transfer your contacts, SNO, call logs, wallpaper, text messaging, music, pictures, and so on, different documents, and you can kind of highlight what you want to take and what, not, what you don't want to take. It can actually also transfer content from the SD card over as well too, which will take all that nice stuff around here. Looks like there's no documents on that end. Yeah, right here, pretty cool. Then we have a snowball, take that. All right, so once you have everything you kind of want here, you're gonna go get hit send and it's gonna start preparing it and it's gonna say receive content. Are you ready to receive? You just hit receive and you're gonna go ahead and activate to activate the application, preparing, waiting, and it's gonna go through that process now and it's gonna give you much more detail up here as to sort of what's happening, what's, what it's preparing and what it's ready to transfer over. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run. I ran this before in the past and it actually runs uh, pretty decently fast, I would say here. It definitely didn't take uh, too long as it did before, but let's go ahead and uh, see how well and see how fast this transfers over. Yep, as you can see here, the transfer is completed. You can see finish, you hit finish on here. The app itself should close out on the old device. We'll move that over here. You can see all the basic information of the data that's been transferred over. I'll let you know the numbers right there on the side, which is pretty cool. Hit finish, app should close out. Now the next thing it'll ask you is, um, do you want to download Galaxy Central apps, download Snode app, some of the apps you might need to actually put some of the data that you brought over. We'll hit exit for now. So that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward. There you go. That's how you use Samsung Smart Switch Mobile, at least version two there. So this is Bowman here from BW1 reminding you, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube page, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.